Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So this is what I am going to do today. So once when I am around this civilian character, he just ignores me. But if I equip a weapon, so he will start to run away from me like that. Now he is running away from me and he will come back after a while and start working again. So you can tweak the timings of these events, but this is how I do it. So now he is again working and if I go in front of him with the weapon equipped, he runs away. And that's what I'm going to cover today. So as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so today I want to make these characters. Uh, I want them to be afraid and run away when they see the player equip a weapon. But at the moment, uh, nothing happens. Oh, wait, I need to change the physics materials for material for this surface. It becomes annoying. Yeah, instead of water, let's use land. Right, now the problem should be gone. Okay, now the surface sound is alright. Step sound. Yeah, okay. Now, when I equip the weapon, so first, let me open the character's AI. AI controller. So, here, we need to add um, sense configurations so so let's first add ai perception component i'll call it ai perception site and i'll add a sense config in the type of site and the, as the dominant i'll set the site as well so here under settings let's yeah let's keep the default settings and the defect detection by affiliation i'll enable them all because uh, otherwise i wouldn't detect some characters right now here on perception updated no, that's not it. On target perception update. Right. So here, just to check if the site is working, let's print whatever the character this guy sees. So let's print the character's name in color red. I'll increase the duration to like 10 seconds. Otherwise, we would notice. okay he did see me that's why i there is a print in ch player and red so if i go here again again now this character sees me see yeah okay so the sensors are working now now let's uh, What should I do? Do I have to have a way to check if the character is armed? So for that we have to go to the human blueprint and 
yeah and uh, class settings let's see let's go to the character interface do we have a way to equip no no right okay let's add a new function here under fight I'll call it uh, weapon equip and the return type should be a boolean yes or no I put it under the fight category because weapons are related to the fight mm. okay now let's go to ch human and how do we determine with the, uh, I have uh, we have this current weapon number okay so let's go here under fight we have weapon equipped so we should return true if this current weapon number is larger than zero that means I have equipped a weapon okay now in the civilian AI is uh, equipped no weapon equipped okay so if this is true let's add a branch if this is true then yeah let's just print first run away basically this is what I should if the character see an armed enemy but uh, yeah let's see he didn't see me now let me equip and go in front of him yeah now he saw that's why I got that run away message okay so right now we need to find a way to make this character actually run away so how do I do that all right so how do I communicate that this character has seen another character with an equipped weapon that means an armed character so the character should run away so yeah uh, let's uh, I think we can access the blackboard yeah we can get the blackboard and here in the blackboard we have yeah we have this enemy object I have defined before so yeah if you don't have it just go to add a new key and define it with the type of object so and rename it to enemy right so I have this enemy object let me copy the name and here set blackboard set value as object ok 
okay so for the object value I'll give this actor and for the key name I'll make lateral name and paste the value enemy okay compile why does it take so long to compile okay now after this um, okay so yeah now let's go to the behavior tree I think we need another selector here okay uh, like this let me add another selector like this and here another sequence so here I'll add a decorator not the move target I'll set the enemy if the enemy is set I'll execute this part so here I'll add another decorator if the enemy is not set so on value change I'll observer I'll set observer to abort both right now here Here what this character should do should do is running away from the yeah, running away from the enemy so okay so for that we need to add a new task now actually yeah all we have to do is move to but move to where away from the enemy so let's modify this set target location task a little bit mm, now let's keep it like this uh, let's add a new task oh, we have to define the tasks here T run away oh wait it's not a task it should be a service let me delete it so yeah let's add another service let's call this one s yes. run away set run away right now here mm, receive activation AI let's define a variable this should be key enemy it should be in the type of blackboard key selector 
and we need another variable key no target it is also should be in the type of blackboard key it's already like that now here get value as object if this is valid get this one and set value as vector so what we need to do is moving away from this object so yeah let's get the controlled bound location and then let's get oh, we can't get the location of the object do we have anything like location no okay well i could do a cast here to an actor but uh, i don't really like to do castings because as I know they are expensive for now let's use one of the castings and see if works get the casting and get actor location okay and get the direction from this one like this and by normalizing this we get what is that Uh, by normalizing we get the direction vector from the enemy towards uh, the civilian then let's multiply this by a large float value let's say 3000 and then let's get random reachable point in this radius within 500 I'd say and set it as the move target yeah and then uh, get the key enemy and set as object so as for the object I'll give nothing that means not Oh, or we can just clear the blackboard value that should also work all right now let's take a look at the blackboard and here let's add the service runaway let's use move to and call the service set run away and let's add the wait node just to be safe 
and yeah here the condition should be enemy is uh, not set and for this runaway wait where's the blackboard values all right i need to make them public and for the key enemy i need to set enemy and move target just the move target well wait a minute so here i clear the enemy key but i think uh, i am doing it too soon yeah let's not clear it for now can i clear it later Ah, right we have a task clear backboard key mm. let me open it okay uh, we don't need this and this part is also not used What's the purpose of this key name? Oh, but I'm not. I'm afraid to change anything because I'm already using this one, uh, this task in my enemy AI. So I'll create a new task instead of this one. parameters no that's not it let's add a new task I'll call it T clear add a new variable pb key it stands for blackboard key it should be the type of blackboard key select and receive activation now what's the what's the type of execute AI all right get the BB key clear blackboard value and finish execute success true okay now here let's clear and as for the key I'll use enemy wait uh, yeah here we have a slight problem so uh, I just get the no dire normalized direction vector and multiply it by 3000 so in order to get a location uh, away 3000 units away from the character we have to add the character's location to this otherwise we would get some location far away uh, that is uh, 3000 units away from the zero 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 location so yeah we have to add it here this one sorry about that okay now let's see what happens let me play the game and yeah oh once i equip the weapon this character runs actually he's not running just walks away somewhere a little very far away from me and then again let me put back the weapon now he's coming back and start working well uh, let's implement a way to make this character run 
Mm, so do we have a toggle run weapon? No, toggle run method. No, but in the BPI character, I have this toggle run. Function so yeah, so I'll implement it toggle run if it is true, let's set the branch. If it is true, I'll set max move movement no oh, i need to get the character movement component first set max move set max walk speed right i need to set this no need to have a branch i'll select the speed based on this status so there is the this should be what's the current max movement is made again yeah max walk speed is 300 okay if it is false it should be 300 otherwise 600 All right now in the runaway when I set it to run away, I'll call toggle run on this character controlled pawn with a true. And we, when he is when he's walking, uh, sorry, not walking, working, I'll set it back to. I'll disable running that means working like this like this um is that door okay now let's give it a try okay now the character is working so here let me equip the okay when once i equip the sword he is running away and yeah let me put back the sword so okay after a while he should come back okay he's coming back but he's still running yeah but once after he started working it should be all right he should again work work instead of running start working oh, he's randomly all right now he's working right now it should be all right once he moved to another location he should walk I set him to randomly work or work to another location seems like he is continuously getting to working okay now he's yeah I think you saw it he didn't run this time he just walk casually now let me equip weapon again and all right now he's again running 
okay so this is all i wanted to do for today and i'll stop this episode at this point so yeah if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below also i have released a new uh, project file update for the third person shooter series and also for this farmer ai so if you are in my patron club you can download them and yeah thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye